For more than 50 years, John W. Young has served his country as a military aviator, NASA astronaut, manager, and spokesman for human spaceflight. He has logged more than 15,000 hours of flying time in prop-driven aircraft, jets, helicopters, and experimental aircraft, more than 9,000 hours in T-38s, and has flown six space flights totaling 835 hours. John Young is the only astronaut to have piloted four different classes of spacecraft, Gemini, Apollo Command Service Module, Apollo Lunar Module, and Space Shuttle. During his 42 years with NASA, Young flew six missions, including two to the moon, set a lunar rover speed record on the moon's surface, and was the first person to orbit the moon alone during the Apollo 10 mission. John Young was born in San Francisco, California on September 24, 1930, and raised in the College Park neighborhood of Orlando, Florida. He earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Aeronautical Engineering with highest honors from Georgia Institute of Technology. After graduation from Georgia Tech in 1952, Young entered the United States Navy. He served as fire control officer on the destroyer USS Laws during the Korean War before becoming a fighter pilot. He flew F-9 Cougars and F-8 Crusaders in Fighter Squadron 103 for four years. After test pilot training at the U.S. Navy Test Pilot School in 1959, he was assigned to the Naval Air Test Center for three years. Young retired from the Navy as a captain in September 1976 after completing 25 years of military service. In September 1962, Young was chosen as a member of the second astronaut group selected by NASA after the original Mercury 7. He was the first of that group to fly in space, replacing Tom Stafford as the pilot of Gemini 3 when Alan Shepard, the original commander, was grounded. On March 23, 1965, Young joined Gus Grissom for the first manned Gemini mission, a complete end-to-end -end test of the Gemini spacecraft. During the same flight, Young operated the first computer on a manned spacecraft. It was a near flawless mission, the only major incident involving a contraband corned beef sandwich that Young had snuck on board. Young flew his second space mission as commander of Gemini 10 from July 18th to 21st, 1966. Along with his pilot, Mike Collins, Young completed a dual rendezvous with two separate Agena target vehicles. While Young flew close formation on the second Agena, Mike Collins performed an extravehicular transfer to retrieve a micrometeorite detector from that Agena. On his third flight, Young served as command module pilot for Apollo 10 from May 18th to 26th, 1969. Flying with Tom Stafford and Gene Cernan, the Apollo 10 astronauts became the second crew to orbit the moon. The primary objective during this historic dress rehearsal for the first landing on the moon was to demonstrate the performance of the lunar module and the command service module in the lunar gravitational field. While Cernan and Stafford flew the lunar module in orbit for the first time, Young flew the command module solo, the first person to do so in lunar orbit. The mission milestones included completing lunar rendezvous and docking, evaluating docked and undocked navigation, and tracking proposed lunar landing sites. Young was the backup commander of Apollo 13, the harrowing mission in which the moon landing was aborted because of an explosion on the service module. Young had a central role in rescuing the Apollo 13 crew by participating in the team that developed the procedures to stretch onboard consumables and reactivate the command module systems prior to re-entry. By rotation, Young became the commander of Apollo 16. His crew included Ken Mattingly as the command module pilot and Charlie Duke as lunar module pilot. During training for this, his fourth space flight and first lunar landing mission, Young became an enthusiastic student of geology. Launched on April 16, 1972, this 11-day mission to the lunar surface was the first excursion to the Descartes Highlands. 
Young and Duke set up scientific equipment, collected over 200 pounds of rocks, and drove over 16 miles in the lunar rover on three separate geologic traverses. Young also conducted performance tests with the lunar rover, at one time getting up to a top speed of 11 miles per hour, which, according to the Guinness Book of Records, still stands as the record speed for any wheeled vehicle on the moon. On April 12, 1981, spacecraft commander John Young and pilot Bob Crippen roared off the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center's Launch Complex 39A on the maiden voyage of the Orbiter Columbia as they began the historic first flight of the space shuttle. The 54 and a half hour, 36 orbit mission verified space shuttle systems performance during launch, on orbit and re-entry. 133 of the mission's flight test objectives were accomplished. The Orbiter Columbia was the first manned spaceship ever flown and tested during ascent, on orbit, and during entry, without the benefit of previous unmanned missions. Columbia was also the first winged re-entry vehicle to return from space to a runway landing, as Young landed the 98-ton vehicle on the dry lake bed at Edwards Air Force Base in California. Young's sixth flight was as spacecraft commander of STS-9, the first space lab mission. For 10 days, from November 28th to December 8th, 1983, the six-man crew successfully completed all 94 of its flight test objectives. The astronauts worked 12-hour shifts around the clock, performing more than 70 experiments in the fields of atmospheric physics, Earth observations, space plasma physics, astronomy and solar physics, materials processing, and life sciences. The mission returned more scientific and technical data than all the previous Apollo and Skylab missions combined. Space Lab was brought back to Earth for reuse, so that Columbia weighed over 110 tons as Young landed the spaceship at Edwards in California. In January 1974, he was selected to be Chief of the Astronaut Office at NASA Johnson Space Center with responsibility for the coordination, scheduling, and control of the activities of the astronauts. Young served as Chief of the Astronaut Office until May 1987. Under his direction, astronaut flight crews participated in the Apollo-Soyuz Joint Russian-American Docking Missions, the Space Shuttle Orbiter Approach and Landing Test Program, and 25 space shuttle missions. From May 1987 to February 1996, he served as special assistant to the director of the Johnson Space Center in several important capacities. John Young retired from NASA in December 2004 at the age of 74. An aviator, fighter pilot, test pilot, and the astronaut's astronaut. John Young continues to advocate for the development of technologies that will allow us to one day live and work on the Moon and Mars. The Space Foundation is proud to present the 2010 General James E. Hill Lifetime Space Achievement Award to retired Navy Captain and Astronaut John W. Young.